What is a hero? That is the question day one we ask our students. Common responses, firefighters, Superman, parents, sometimes more specific, like the story of the local man who jumped into the lake after a three-year-old fell into the water, or the woman who saved and adopted a stray dog. Inevitably, we talk in depth about who is the best Avenger. We bring up historic heroes such as Martin Luther King Jr. or Joan of Arc, and by the end of class, we come up with an agreed upon definition of what a hero truly is. Brave, strong, independent, and determined are adjectives that frequently make their way into each class's definition. Then we take their definition and we drop it into different circumstances. First, we go back to the origins of stories and we read about Perseus, a well-known Greek mythical hero. We compare his actions to our definition and move to the next. We look at Prometheus, Hercules, and the story of Persephone. Then we jump back into the future and look at Skywalker's journey and compare it to Dorothy's. We look at our literature books and the example of the Hidden Figures women and compare their story in as well. These stories, both the myths and the retellings of historical feats, reflect our human understanding of what a hero is, what it takes to be considered one, and what obstacles must be faced and overcome. We sit in the understanding that despite different cultures, different backgrounds, different languages, our human stories connect us in our shared human experience. But why teach us in seventh grade? Why come to an education panel to speak about a theory that Joseph Campbell came up with 20 odd years prior? Because it gives them an understanding of the purpose and reasoning behind why they should critically analyze a piece of text. Through the development of a thematic unit which ties every novel, short story, article, research paper back to the hero's journey, our students begin to see connections between not only other pieces of literature, but to their own lives, their parents' experiences, and to the larger world around them. Our seventh grade students begin to watch Riverdale and assess which character has become the threshold guardian. They listen to Billie Eilish's Bury a Friend and analyze the deeper meaning behind the lyrics. They sit in science class looking at cures and causes of diseases and are able to pinpoint the shadow of each scientist that tested their resolve. We spend a year understanding what connects Wesley from The Princess Bride to Pony Boy and The Outsiders to Collins Motions and Jacqueline Woodson's novel Locomotion. And our students learned connecting the characters and stories in ways that really blew us out of the water. At the end of the year, our students sat down and took their understanding of the hero's journey and created their own stories, placing their own heroes at the center and taking them through the journey and resolutions. In the end, our students went on their own journey, accepting to cross the threshold in our classroom, struggling through their tests of writing analytical essays, making it through their ordeal of final projects, and finally returning home, prepared and ready for eighth grade, with the reward of understanding the power of their own voices. We very much hope we have the opportunity to share our journey and help you begin yours at this year's South by Southwest Education Panel Picker.